Over here we're gonna compare the table of 2 and the table of 4. I wrote down already the skip counting list for the table of 2. Now we're gonna do the same for the table of 4. 0, 4, 8. And what comes next? Can you tell me the list as I write? There's 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, and 48. Notice first of all that when we look here, we can see that these answers here in this list are exactly doubles of those 2 and 4, 4 and 8, 6 and 12 each time 8 and double 8 is here. Okay? Now we're gonna find what numbers are the same in both lists. Matthew, it's gonna be your task. Okay, there's 0 in both lists, right? So yeah, you go circle that. And then what else is in both lists? Aha, uh -huh, 4 is, yep. And then 8 is there too, right? 12 is there too. Looks like we're seeing a pattern here. He's circling every number in the table of 4 and every other number in the other. And now we're going to do something special with this table. I'm going to take each number that was in both lists and write it here. So I have 0 here, then I'm going to take 4 and 8 and 12 16, 20, and 24. And now we're gonna write these numbers as multiplications. So 0, for example, is 0 times 2. That's how it is in the table of 2. And then it is 0 times 4 in the table of 4. And then 4, in the table of 2, it would be 2 times 2, right? In the table of 4, it is 1 times 4. And 8 would be 4 times 2 in the table of 2, and over here it would be 2 times 4. 12 in the table of 2, it's 6 times 2, and here it is 3 times 4. There's a pattern in these numbers. Again, 2 and 4, 2 and 4, 2 and 4, 2 and 4 each time, but these, 3 and 6, 2 and 4, 1 and 2. Again, this number here is a double of that number. And over here, again, 16 is how many times 2? 8 times 2, and how many times 4? 4 times 4. Half as many times here as here. See, 8 and 4. 20 is how many times 2? 10 times 2. And over here, half as many times, 5 times 4. And then this one, 24 is 12 times 2. And this one, how many times 4? 6 times 4. Okay. And lastly, we have just one word problem to solve. Some mammoths and some ducks are walking somewhere and they have a total of 14 feet. How many mammoths and how many ducks are there? Think about it. Some mammoths, some ducks. Could it be, for example, one mammoth? Well, no, it can't because it's some mammoths. We can't use that. But let's say it was two mammoths. Would that work? Two mammoths? Those would have eight feet, right? And then, how many ducks? The ducks need to have six feet, right? So we would have a total of 14. So that would make three ducks. Now, could we have three mammoths? Three mammoths would have 12 feet. And then we would only have one duck. So that doesn't work because it says ducks. Okay, well done with this lesson.